Margaret and um, I'm 88 and a half years old. I really appreciated uh, the, the era that I grew up in because I got a chance to work when I was a teenager. I got a chance to go to university. I, I got married and we never entered my head ever that my husband might lose his job. I lived in, in the best of times after the war. And so I, I really have been a person who was blessed with a good life. Don't be surprised when I tell you that my fees were $100 for tuition, but then five cents bought you a milkshake too. <laughs> so at any rate, um, so I went to university. My dad had a grade five education, my mother about a grade eight, I guess. And I stumbled along. I should not have been in science. I took a science degree. But I didn't like labs. I loved the subject matter. I loved going to classes. I should have been in the arts program because my main interest really was in uh, history and English. But anyway, I took a science degree in math and that's how I got my job as a math teacher in Dauphin. In the building, I, I think, do things like I look after the library, and I um, I belong to the Current Events Club because I I I'm a, have become a a news junkie, and so so I I do go current events. So I I think I participate in a lot. Sometimes people think because you're old, you don't you don't learn anymore, and maybe that's why I feel as a senior like. I'm still interested in sports. I'm still interested in politics. I'm still interested in the news. But so it doesn't matter how old you get to be. It's never a loss. Anything that you do and learn will come in valuable sometime in your life and it's it's never a waste. When I met my husband, um, and I met him because we both took education to become teachers, that's where I met him. But he had come from a farming community. And so I went out there to visit quite often for a few years, and that's where he taught me how to drive. And uh, so uh, that's where I got a taste of it, and uh, I've always loved driving. I, I'm very happy and content, and I keep busy. I uh, do some walking. Um, I like to walk, and I think it's important to walk. And the other thing about happiness is, is to um, always find the good in, in something that happens in the day. So at night, I always try and think, oh, what was it was ha good that happened today? So, and it kind of keeps me happy. I have great admiration for many of the people who are living here in this building. They're so cheerful how they get along. I would like to be remembered as a person that, that enjoyed life, was thankful for the life, and didn't complain about my life. So, how's that? Is that kind of sums up my philosophy of life?